everyone this is me vandana manoj welcome to enjoy learning english today i have come up with some awesome words in english these are awesome to me because i felt like a uh, surprise because i didn't know that these kinds of words do exist in english because these are not commonly used so instead of uh, describing so many things in a you know elaborately we are explaining something so instead of it we can shorten it and use these kinds of awesome words and you can save your time and energy so without any delay shall we check what are those words first of all we'll start with this word petrichor 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 means the smell that rises from earth after the first rain okay so after the rain a nice smell will come from earth that is known as petrichor so instead of telling i like the smell of earth after the first rain you can say i love petrichor okay so uh, isn't it uh, saving your time and energy and also you learned a nice advanced english word i really love petrichor but there are some people that uh, they don't like these kinds of smells so i really like petrichor what about you second one is this one defenestration defenestration means throwing something or someone out of the window it is known as defenestration so if you do that i'll defenestrate you you can say like that okay instead of saying i'll throw you out of the window you can say i'll defenestrate you so definitely you have to use these kinds of words only then you, it will come to your mind what about this word it is silhouette silhouette means uh, you know dark images like this dark images the shape will be there the structure will be there and the background will be brighter and uh, it will be very nice if it is photographed you know uh, during the sunset if you sit nearby and if you get the silhouette images it will be very nice so next time uh, you can show your silhouette drawing to your friends or relatives and ask what about my silhouette image do you like it so you got a new word and you applied it so next one is this word supine supine means if someone is lying face upward that is known as supine position so he uh, sh he always likes to uh, sleep in a supine position that is you know lie uh, lying face upward like this what about the exact opposite of this one you know some people they like to uh, lie or sleep face downward that is known as prone i repeat prone okay prone position so it is like this next one is this one it is spore i repeat spore spore means the footprints of animals especially animals and uh, it can be also the scent the scent of animal so we can see if we are uh, just near the uh, forest we can see some footprints of maybe a tiger lion or deer or anything so it is known as what spore so next time in order to tell about the footprints you can say i see the spore of a, what a deer never say the footprints okay so this is the correct way to tell about the footprints of an animal so that's it i hope you have enjoyed this mini session with awesome words i really like these kinds of words that's why i shared it with you i hope you also enjoyed this one please uh, store it in your vocabulary list and also learn it and apply it for finding up please let me know which all words you liked very much please choose at least two words and you have to frame sentences and put it in the comment box and i'll be waiting for it so next time i'll be coming with another interesting video and until then it's bye from vandana